And today, we're announcing Sync's next innovation, AppLink 3.0. The new version of our already popular AppLink system now provides the capability to actually project images or moving graphics or animations, including maps from your favorite apps, directly right onto the Sync touchscreen. And in terms of mobility, well, we're kicking off 25 mobility experiments around the world to help us to create an accessible and affordable solutions to some of the world's greatest mobility and transportation challenges. And they range from technologies that locate open parking spaces in crowded cities, making car sharing easier, move vehicles actually across cities through remote control, use vehicles and also bicycles to gather information about traffic and parking conditions, and even help make healthcare more accessible in rural areas. On autonomy, we already have semi-autonomous vehicles on the road today that use software and sensors to steer into both parallel or perpendicular parking spaces. They can adjust speed and traffic or even apply the brakes in case of an emergency. At the same time, we also have fully autonomous vehicles on the road in development. And next week, we're really happy to be opening our expanded lab in Palo Alto, which will help us accelerate our work in bringing to market an autonomous vehicle that is accessible to everyone and not just luxury buyers. Regarding the customer experience, well, our team's done a fantastic job in identifying 70 of the biggest drivers of changing consumer behaviors and attitudes. And then building on those, we'll introduce innovations that strengthen the relationship between Ford and our customers, really moving our emphasis from the initial transaction to a true ownership experience. And this includes things like new digital shopping tools, the ability to schedule vehicle service appointments online, looking at new ways to finance, including fractionally owned vehicles, and even pay-per-mile agreements. Now, as we talk about our emphasis on product excellence and innovation at Ford, it's worth remembering that our first innovation was not in a laboratory, but was on the racetrack. And that's why in this rapidly changing world, we're equally passionate about innovation through performance with vehicles that make people's hearts pound. And in fact, we've committed to bringing more than 12 new performance vehicles to our global Ford lineup in the next five years alone. And for more details, let me hand it over to our President of the Americas, Joe Hendricks. All right, thank you, Mark, and good morning, everyone. You know, innovation is driving everything we do at Ford. You can see it in the record 16 vehicles we delivered in North America last year, including the all-new F-150, which today was named North American Truck of the Year. F-150, of course, is part of our F-Series lineup, which remains America's best-selling truck for the 38th straight year. Our new lineup also includes Mustang, which has outsold Camaro every month since its launch, and Transit, which helped Ford land its 36th straight year of U.S. full-size van leadership. In addition, seven new vehicles are coming to North America this year. And we're pleased to announce that 100% of our cars, utilities, and light-duty pickups will offer at least one EcoBoost engine this year. Of course, you cannot discuss Ford innovation without talking about the new F-150. It's the toughest, smartest, and most capable F-150 ever. Every pound we took out of F-150, we gave back to the customer through best-in-class payload, best-in-class towing, 11 class-exclusive features, and better fuel economy. Now the team has gone even further. Let's take a look.
next generation, high output, 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine that is more powerful than Raptor's current V8. Now we've paired this new EcoBoost engine with an all new 10 speed transmission that improves driving and fuel efficiency. An all new smart terrain management system optimizes Raptor's driving dynamics for different environments. From street performance, to desert running and rock crawling, to snow and ice. Now in terms of most capable, the standard Fox racing shocks are larger and provide more wheel travel than ever before. Plus, the 500 pounds we saved versus today's Raptor through innovations like the new high strength aluminum alloy body helps the all new off-roader glide over tough terrain. As you can see, the all-new F-150 Raptor is built to live off-road, just as our next vehicle was Well, thank you. This is the all-new Shelby GT350R. It's the most, like the original, the new GT350R is lighter with a highly refined suspension. It's been designed and engineered in the same spirit as the original Competition 350, delivering never-before-seen track capability from a Mustang. Thanks to innovations in aerodynamics, chassis engineering, and light weighting. The car features a revised front air splitter and a new wing at the rear to generate more downforce. The suspension has been completely retuned and features a forward-first Magnaride shock damping system that's more aggressively tuned for racing. The GT350R is more than 130 pounds lighter than the GT350 with the track pack. Our criteria was simple. If a part or a feature didn't help the car go around the track faster, we deleted it. Air conditioning, gone. Rear seat, out. Backup camera, auto dimming rear view mirror, no. No compromises, no frills. All by design. The GT350R is the first mass-produced vehicle with standard ultra-lightweight carbon fiber wheels. These wheels provide more than 50 pounds of unsprung weight reduction and offer higher levels of stiffness than the equivalent aluminum wheels. And they're fitted with Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 high-performance tires specifically created for the GT350R. Under the hood, Ford's all-new 5.2-liter flat-plane crank V8, an architecture typically found only in racing applications or exotic European sports cars. It's Ford's most powerful, naturally aspirated engine ever, delivering more than 500 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. The engine's mated to a Tremec six-speed manual transmission with its own standard cooler to main temperatures under the most severe track conditions. As you can hear, this car is for our most demanding performance enthusiasts. It's another proof point of how serious we are about delivering innovation through performance. So with that, let me hand it back over to Mark.